Welcome to the first of my short uh, tip videos. Um, this one we're going to be doing a uh, how to test an RCBO on a circuit where you don't have a socket. So things like shower circuits, cooker circuits, and the, well, the obvious one is lighting circuits. Now when you're testing uh, an RCD normally, an RCD would normally be protecting you know, several circuits, one of which almost certainly will have a, a socket outlet on it where you can plug your test tester into and run your uh, automatic RCD tests. That's not quite so simple when you're running with uh, an RCBO. An RCBO will only be protecting one circuit. Now if that happens to be a ring final or a radial, that's fine. You can just uh, put your socket tester in the socket and off you go. Top screen off, finish there. But with a lighting circuit, how are you going to plug your tester in? Well, the method I use, um, I'm going to show in this video, um, and I'm making use of QTEX uh, lighting adapter set. Um, there are other adapter sets uh, that you can use. Um, and effectively, in the uh, house I was um, redoing, um, I was able to plug this into a ceiling pendant and be able to do my RCBO tests from that. At the end of the video I'll show you the uh, the kit and the options you can have. In this particular case I use the bayonet, but uh, there are E27s and GU10s if you've got down lights and, and so on. So without further ado, let's check out the video. Okay, how to test an RCBO on a lighting circuit. So, what I've got here, I've got the QTEC um, lighting adapters. So that's a bayonet one that's in there at the moment. So, as you can see, we've got the line, the neutral, into that. And you can see the earth is crop clipped to the earth bar at the pendant. Um, now QTEC do lots of adapters, um, they do GU10s and E27s and so on, so you should be able to find one that will fit. Um, so what we have here is, we've got that all connected up there, it is live. I'll just bring this down here, you can see there, it is live. <coughs> this, isn't the, this is the only way that I know of to do it. Um, obviously you take, you've got to take great care in doing this because obviously that is now live that. However, it does work, so as I say, we've got all those leads on, they're connected into the the line CPC and neutral on the on the tester, and you can see we've got a voltage, 249 volts, so I'll press the, or on 30 milliamp also, so let's start the test, and we've passed. Don't forget this is on, on our new RCBO that we've connected into the lighting circuit. Passed again. Get to the next one. There we go, 7.6. So it's going to sit by the consumer unit. So here we are, kitchen lights. Let's turn that back on. Second, another test done. Do it again. And another one. Do it again. Yeah, and oops, there we go. And again. I think that's the last one. Let's go back to the board. Some nice figures. Let's see what we've got. So we should have, whoops, 2,000, 2,000, 7.6, 18.4, 7.6, and 18. All passed. 
Okay, okay. So that was reasonably straightforward in the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power off the Qtip box, power off this particular MC, uh, RCBO, and we'll screw that back into the ceiling. Uh, just to be all nice and safe. You don't want to be screwing that back when it's still live. So, uh, yeah. Indeed. Okay, so let's do that then. Right, so just to say, this is the, the lighting kit that you can get from QTech. So, as you can see, we've got screw versions, bayonet versions, a SGU 10 version, and one of those. So, so they've oh, another one, another bayonet one. So, you've got two bayonet ones in the kit. Two screw fittings and a GU10. Um, the only thing is, some of them are labelled mine and neutral, some of them are. You'll know when you get it around the wall mode because the tester won't work. Anyway, so that's that. So that has come in really handy to do the RCD test, and it will probably come in handy when I have to do the R1, R2 test when I've cabled up the rest of these lights. So there you go, um, I do hope that's, uh, that's helpful. Um, please uh, uh, click on the subscribe button um, if you're liking these and please comment down below. I do try and get back to, uh, to people's comments and things. Um, if you've got any suggestions for, for other things you'd like to see, then um, please let me know in the comments and uh, we'll uh, see what we can do. And we will see you on the next one.